Well, I'm back in the lake. <laughs> I was sitting back at the RV there, editing some videos, and I was just bored and lonely, basically. Just laughing at myself in my videos. And I'm like, you know what, I gotta get out of here. So, I grabbed a bag, put a towel and a washcloth and some soap in there so I can stop at the showers on the way back. And uh, came out here to take a dip. Took a walk, and here I am middle of the lake <laughs> there's like nothing going on out here it's totally silent except for a boat that i can hear like way back there in the distance yeah you can just barely hear it and you can't even see it and then there's uh some people hold on let me get turned around here there's birds of course they keep trying to crap on me <laughs> there's a guy over here in a kayak and there's another guy and a couple of girls over here. And of course we got the birds. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> and then there's fish. Like if I just stay still and float, then I can see fish like jumping up out of the water every once in a while. Now the other day there was tons of them because there was like all these little larvies and stuff in the water here, which is pretty gross. But, I mean, there's none of them today. There's, like, nothing. It's it's nice, clean water. Here go the birds again. This is my evening, guys. <laughs> All alone, floating in the middle of a lake. Oh, my gosh. It is pretty beautiful out here, and it's really peaceful, though. Let's just be quiet for a minute and listen. See, it's like almost stone silent if it weren't for like the occasional bird chirp and those people way off in the distance talking about their kayaks. That's what I'm doing. Floating around in the middle of the lake here all alone. <laughs> and I can't decide whether that's awesome or pathetic. Here goes a bird that tried to crap on me earlier. Seriously, every once in a while one will like fly over top. Here comes one right here. And you can just see him like crap. It'll, <laughs> it'll just drop into the water. It's so disgusting and you have to keep the thought out of your head that that's what you're swimming in. <laughs> oh my god. I think I'm going insane, guys. Hello, Mr. Seagull. Are you going to crap today? <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. So here's the thing I was jumping off of the other day when Courtney and my parents were here. I don't know why Courtney didn't come back in. She wanted to fish with my dad. So they were like over this direction on the shore fishing. I was having a good old time though, diving off that thing and climbing back up. The thing is though, that that, uh, that ladder, I don't know how well you can see it, that little ladder right there, it's not attached at the bottom. Yeah, that ladder right there, that's what I had to climb up to get on top of there each time. And it's not attached at the bottom there in the water, it's not attached to that big concrete thing. So it like moves and it would pinch my feet and then the uh, the steps are steel and, and they're like, I don't know, they're made in a way that your feet aren't gonna slide off of them. So they hurt your feet when you're sliding, I mean, when you're climbing up. It was fun regardless though. I'm kind of tempted to go do it again right now, but I don't know, just having a good time just floating around out here.
I should watch something like uh, Sleep Away Camp tonight or Friday the 13th. <laughs> Here we got a pontoon boat in the distance coming back in. All the pontoon boats are over here. This is where they park. That's like a whole different section of the park over there. That's where Courtney and I were uh, geocaching um, a couple days ago. Out there, there was two um, two spots. And then we had to walk all the way along here, over to there, and back through those trees quite a ways. And that's where we lost the signal, or her phone died. and uh, And we had to mill around back there for a little while and try to, to try to download the app onto my phone to find the thing. It was fun though. This water was so freezing when I first came in. Cause I mean, it's in the seventies right now, but it's evening. It's about 7 PM right now. And um, it's just on the verge of starting to get dark. The sun's already gone down and uh, yeah, it's, it's still kind of cold. <laughs> but like yeah it's in the 70s and so you know the sun hasn't been out like warming up the lake or anything it's been down for quite a while and uh it's kind of chilly out here and you get people like in their boats that roll by and they look at me out here like what is that crazy guy doing in this frozen lake <laughs> If we just stay still for a few minutes, we might be able to see some fish jump. I'll tell you what too, it's it's an experience to see it to see the fish jumping on the top of the water when you are at eye level with the top of the water. Come on, fishies, where are you? They're all in because it's too cold out here. <laughs> Guys, this is what I have to do to entertain myself all alone out here. <laughs> like I said, it's awesome, yet pathetic. <laughs> oh boy, okay, I can't reach bottom. I can't reach bottom. Must doggy paddle with one arm. <laughs> <laughs> My phone is waterproof, but I'm not dunking it under this water. Ah, there we go. I got the I got the ground here. Okay. Oh well. All right, guys. Just for one more minute here, let's just enjoy the sights and sounds of floating in the water in the lake. That's it. I guess I should climb out of here and go take a hot shower, wash off everything that's in this lake. Now, I just did a full circle around here as slow as I could, and I saw not one fish jump. But as soon as I turned the camera back on me, there was a giant one back here and one right over here. They're smart fish, I tell ya. <laughs> They're evolving with the times.